Israel launched nearly 80 or more aircraft, including in an operation codenamed Days of Repentance at around 2 in the morning. These are the possible routes the Israeli Air Force may have taken to strike Iran. Although these routes may seem straightforward, they'd involve complex planning, including calculations for air refueling and coordinating attack aircraft to pass through Jordan, Syria, and Iraq. They also neutralized potential air defense threats in Syria and Iraq to ensure a safe return in case they were targeted. Israel's strategy was to attack Iran in three waves. The first wave targeted surface air-to-air -air sites, radar installations, and Iran's air defense headquarters in Tehran, Elam, and Qusestan. The second wave focused on destroying ballistic missiles, and finally, the third wave targeted military manufacturing industries. To avoid Iranian air defenses, they used the ROX missiles, which allowed them to strike from positions closer to enemy targets without requiring jets to penetrate deep into Iranian territory. Surprisingly, the Iranian Bavar 373 air defense system performed better than expected. We'll also look into how this air defense missile works and the strength of the Iranian Air Force all in the video ahead. Let's us first look at Israel fighter jets used in the operations. The tip of the spears are the 5th generation F-35 fighter jets, S-16 air defense jets, and F-15 ground attack jets which covered approximately 1,600 kilometers, translating to around 1,000 miles. While the weapons of choice were the Blue Arrow long-range supersonic missile and the ROCKS Next Generation Extended Standoff Air-to-Surface Missile. To cover such distances, air refueling tankers were used between flights. This measure was taken in case they needed to engage in a dogfight with Iranian fighter jets and also while returning from their mission. ROX is Israel's next-generation extended standoff air-to-surface ballistics missile. What makes this missile unique is that the crew in the 